Hi, welcome to the 44th annual Emo Doma Gowski Tournament. I'm Al Papernick, um, also Glenn Grosslick announcing and Mike Cardis on the camera. We're gonna turn it over to the PA announcer, Jim Radecki, to announce the starting lineups. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, my friends, to the tradition that never ends. We're pleased you are joining us this evening at the nation's hallowed round of eighth grade boys basketball, Lamont High School, Lamont, Illinois, for the 44th annual Emil Dalagowski Tournament. In conjunction with Lamont Community Television Channel 6, the people of St. Cyril and Methodius welcome you one and all to opening night of the Tonight's first game will feature the Warriors of Old Corey against the Spartans of St. Mary Immaculate. So now let's meet the stars of tonight's game. First up, the visitors, the Spartans of SMI. Number one, Lou Muscarnero. Number two, Daniel Ute. Number three, Sean Elster. Number 23, Nicholas Drust. And now let's meet the starters for the Spartans. First up, number four, Drew. Jensen. <laughs> Number five, Thomas Superitz. Number ten, Tyler Schlager. Number twenty, Ben Eversole. Tonight's home team, the Warriors of Old Corey. Number one, Nicholas Walker. Number 13, Luke Wallace. Number 14, Nicholas Quinke. Number 22, Connor King. Number 30, Nicholas Hawkins. Number 33, CJ Capos. Number 34, Christian Badescu. And now let's meet the starters for the Warriors. First up, number five, Arucas Castillo. Number 11, Matas Castillo. Number 23, Gavin Kelby. Number 31, Drew Innistad. Well, there you go. There's the starting lineups by the great announcer, Jim Radecki. It's February, it's in Lamont, and it's time for basketball, it's the Emil. It's the 44th Emil Domagowski tournament in honor of the great coach from St. Cyril's, Emil Domagowski. This is Al Papernick and Glenn Grosslack and Mike Cardis on the, on the camera today. Uh, we're doing this in memory of the great Keith Latz, uh, 
Victor Markevich and a lot of other names that have done these games over the years. Uh, we're without our, our key man today. We're without um, Art Rendek. Art Rendek. So he's, uh, he's the glue of this organization, but he had to take 10 and off. He's out of town. So we're ready to play basketball here. The tip off, everybody's out at half court. Hope everybody could hear the starting lineup tonight. We'll try to give you the names as we go. So the referee, Tom Matazuski, and Tom, Ron Matazuski, and Tom Grubin officiating this ball game. And Matas Castillo with the ball right away. Looks like they're running a play here. It's a slow, slow start here. Matas gives the ball right to Gardner, but Gardner can't handle it and is stolen by St. Mary's. Number 10 for St. Mary's is uh, Tyler Schlageter. And a, a layup by Tyler Won by Ebersol won't go. And Gardner tried to rebound, but he was out of bounds, so the ball will be taken up underneath the basket by St. Mary's. Nato Hoyt bringing the ball in for St. Mary's. Gets the ball in to Ben Ebersol. Inside to number 10 for the score. Tyler Schlageter gets the first points of the uh, 44th annual Emil Domagowski tournament. Tyler Sch Schlageter. The Castillo boys, both at a number five and number 11, both played last year on Old Quarry's uh, seventh graders, and both of them are coming back. Fantastic job. Now a nice pass in there by uh, Modest, Cast Modest Castillo got the ball right into number 30. Uh, 31 drew into stand. Yeah, 31 drew into stand. Right. Five second call on St. Mary's on the inbounds. Couldn't get it inbounds. Good, tough defense by O'Cordy. And Modest tries a three from the corner, won't go. Rebounded by Gardner. Gardner gets it back to another three to attempt by number 23, Gavin Kelby with a big three. Puts him up five to two right now. And we're going to get a foul called here. Or maybe not. What are we going to call it? That call is against Patrick Gardner. That's the first personal of the ball game. And St. Mary will inbound. Boy, tough defense by uh, Old Quarry. St. Mary's trying to work the ball in the corner. Stolen by 23, but he goes out of bounds. That would be Gavin Kelby. Nice defense. Shooting the gap there. St. Mary's inbound. Nice baseline move by, oh, nice baseline move by number 20, Ben Ebersol, and he gets the and one. So that brings the score to five to four right now. They're gonna have to stop the clock during free throws, don't they? Oh, there you go. No, it won't go. Ebersol can't complete the three-point play, but it's rebounded by number 10. Schlageter, Schlageter, and it's put back by number ben Ebersol. Ebersol. Old Corey back on the attack, a nice one of the Castillo boys inside too. And another three by Gavin Kelby, and he hits another one. That's two quick threes. Two quick threes by Gavin Kelby shooting up a storm. Now full court pressure by Old Quarry. Stolen by Rokas Castillo behind the back pass. Now to Modest Castillo, and he hits the three. Boy, three quick threes by Oak Quarry. Puts him up 11 to six, and we're gonna go to a timeout. We'll come back in a minute. Quick time. Okay, now we're back. St. Mary's to inbound the ball after three quick threes by, uh, by the, I made a mistake that was uh, Rokas Castillo hit the three. I said it was Modest. So, look, oh, St. Mary's to inbound the ball. They get the ball inbounds, Ebersol to Drew Jensen, Drew Jensen drives, goes up, travels. He gets travel. Good quick defense by no, number 11 for Old Quarry in the ball game right now is, no, Campos. CJ Campos comes in for Old Quarry. He replaces um, Gardner, I believe. No, no Gardner's Drew, still the ball game. Drew Indestad. Drew Indestad, there you go. Pretty good pace here by Old Quarry. They've got the three, they've got the inside, they got some big guys on this, uh, there's some tall people on this uh, Old Quarry team. Working the ball on the perimeter now, they're very patient. Gavin Kelby 
Gardner's up top. Going to throw it up again. He's, he's, oh, he hits the back of the iron this time. So he's two for three. And oh, oh and stolen right back by Galvin Kelby. He's going to go right to the hole. And oh, he can't make convert the layup, but he's going to go to the free throw line and shoot two. The foul was on number 10 for uh, St. Mary's. That'll go against Tyler Schlageter. That's their first team and first personal. Kelvin Kelby misses the first shot. Still 11 to six, old quarry over St. Mary Immaculate. Kevin Kelby misses both free but throws. But they get, old quarry gets the rebound it, and this will be Mod nice Modest Castillo misses a three. Kelby looked at the three, but passed it inside, and it couldn't be handled there by uh, Campos, Campos couldn't handle the pass, so St. Mary stole, and there's a foul called against Old Quarry. We don't have the we information have the yet. We'll have to update this a little bit. The scorekeeper is having a little trouble with the scoreboard. Old Quarry's got nice, nice. Almost trapped him in the corner. Elster got a nice, uh, another nice block by Campos. Uh, no, yeah, CJ Campos with a nice block of uh, Super Itis, Super Itis, that's the coach's son. Tried to shoot over him, but it didn't work. St. Mary's trying to work the ball, but it seems like every ball is tipped here. Around and around it goes, and down it goes for Super Itz. Super Itz hits it. His first basket of the day today, Glenn. 11 to eight in favor of O'Corey right now. The two Castillo brothers are working the ball out at the perimeter, looking inside. They've. O'Corey has some big men inside. You have to be aware of them. Modest Castillo tries a three, but it won't go. And the rebound goes off of Campos's hands, and St. Mary's will bring the ball up. Minute 35 left in this quarter, the first quarter. No full court pressure this time by O'Corey. Although the Castillo boys are cheating up one of them. Um, Modest is cheating up into the backcourt. Now they got like a half court press. Gavin Kelby steals the ball, goes in and scores. Gavin Kelby with a nice steal and a nice put up. St. Mary's having trouble with this pressure, both full court and half court. Tipped out of bounds there by number 13 in the ball game for Old Quarry. That is Luke Wallace. St. Mary's having trouble with his pressures, blanketed by Old Quarry Warriors. Seems like the uh, if the passes aren't crisp. Oh, he dribbled out of bounds. He, number four, uh, El, uh, Drew Jensen dribbled out of bounds according to the referee, and then Old Quarry back on the attack here. Old Quarry tries to get the ball inside, but it's tipped away. But they get it back. Luke Wallace tries his luck at a three, won't go. Nice rebound by Gavin Kelby, and he throws the ball off of number 10, Schlageter, and the old quarry retains possession. They will inbound underneath their own basket. Nice quick thinking by Gavin Kelby. Nice shot there by another three by Modest Castillo. Modest Castillo with Puts him up 16 to eight right now. Old Quarry seems to be pulling away. Nice three attempt here by a uh, nice, by, by number four, Drew Jensen, but it won't go. Rebounded by Gavin Kelby. Brings it up, brings it back to Modest Castillo. And he can't make it, Modest Castillo. Oh, there's. Campos goes up and is fouled. He's fouled. We'll try to get you these fouls, the uh, foul. Looks like on number four, Drew Jensen. Number four, Drew Jensen. That's right, Matt Allen. And by our great public address announcer, Jim Radecki. At the line, Castillo. The first, uh, Campos misses the first one. Campos misses the first. 
Yeah, Evan Kelby's coming out so far in the first quarter. He has eight of O'Corey's 16 points. Thank you for that, couple threes. Campos can't get the second one. Nice rebound by Schlageter. Schlageter brings the ball up fast. Gets the ball up to Drew Jensen. Drew, oh, it's blocked by number 22. Nice block by Connor King on that play. So, ball will come in from St. Mary's. 3.4 seconds right, Al. Quick pass and shoot here. Oh, stolen by the cast. Modest Castillo can't get the ball. And there's a long bomb, but it won't go. So that will finish the uh, set first quarter, 16 to eight in favor of the Old Quarry Warriors. We're back underway here now. Uh, St. Mary Immaculate will inbound the ball. Some new players on the ball game, uh, in, on the floor right now for the Old Quarry Warriors. We have uh, number one Nicholas Nich Walker. We have Nicholas Kimbe. Okay, Old Quarry and Nicholas Kimbe on the attack. Tries to lay up, but won't go. He's going to shoot two. The foul that time was on the Spartans, number 21, Nate Ahoyt. Let's set the lineups here, Al. Let's see who we have on the floor here. We've got Mitch Kowalik makes Nick the first free throw. Nicholas Kimby makes the first free, free throw. We have uh, number 13 on the floor, Luke Wallace. We have 33, CJ Campos, and, and 22, throws. number Connor King. For St. Mary's, oh, St. Mary's can't handle the pass. But they can't really handle this pressure. I don't. Oh. Are we on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So they can't really handle this. A whole new lineup here for uh, Old Quarry. They're trying to work the ball on the perimeter right now. You got Kimbe on the on the wing, and here comes. Nope. He thought he looked at the three, number 22 for nope. Connor King, but he won't take it. Kimbe Taken by Kimbe. Campos with the rebound. Campos with another nice rebound. It looks like Nicholas Kamik is. Oh, wow. Take, to Connor King took his time and, and drains the three, putting O'Quarry up 21 to 8 right now. St. Mary's trying, and they can't get through this pressure. Muscarino gives the ball, and then number two will try his luck at a three from the. And he does. That is Daniel Uten with a three for our, uh, St. Mary's. They need a well needed three. And uh, old Corey Warriors back on the attack. Kimbe at the top of the key. Gives the ball to number one, Nicholas Walker. Kimbe back to th Wallace. Working the wall around the perimeter, probing. And then Wallace tries his luck at a three, won't go. Rebounded nicely by number 24, St. Mary's. Ben Ebersaw, but he is fouled. Looks by number 33 for. Campos. CJ Campos gets his first personal of the ball game. Can you hear me? The full court press now by uh, O'Quarry. Now they get through it fast, but they have no numbers here. Oh. Uh, number two loses the ball, picked up by. Uten got one. a little ahead of himself. Number one. Oh, nice block by, number by Ebersol on that. He thought he had a. Nice three attempt here, taken, takes his time. Ebersol took his time and knocks down to three, 21 to 14. A little comeback now for St. Mary's. Four minutes left in the second quarter. Kimbe out at the point. The Castillo boys on the bench right now for uh, Old Quarry. Kimbe tries his luck at a drive, gets the ball stolen. Stolen by number one. By Muscarino. Muscanero, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, Uten tries his luck at a three, misses, but it gets his own rebound. Back out to number to uh, Ebersaw. He tries his luck, won't go, but it's picked up by the big man, Ebersaw, and he puts it in. A nice follow by Ebersaw on that. 21-16 in favor of the Old Quarry Warriors. The coach, uh, Brian Holt. Brian Holman looking down to the bench. I think the Castillo boys are going to check back in this ball game. He doesn't want this to get too close. Kimbe looks, no, he was first his shot. Short, number 22 shoots. Connor King. Connor King tried his luck at a three, won't go. 
but it's followed up by Nicholas Kempia again. St. Mary's with an air ball by Daniel, Daniel Uten. Uten. Well, there was a quick, a quick play down the uh, the sideline, and uh, Ben Ebersol had to break that up in a hurry and picks up his first personal. That's uh, third team foul. It's the fourth team. Uh, fourth team foul. I, I have four St. for St. Mary Immaculate on the board. We have three. Okay. We'll get that straightened out. Old Corey working the ball around, around the perimeter. Walker in the ball game now for Old Corey. St. Mary's on the attack, tries a pull up jumper for two. Oh, just an air ball thrown up by number four. Drew into sets back in the game and picks up the rebound. Well, that ball, shot blocked. Luke Wallace is shot blocked by St. Mary's and, and uh, Night. Oh. Slaggeter tries a tries a uh, ill-advised pass underneath the ball, underneath their own basket because O'Corey got back in a hurry and in the was too much for us. Uh, O'Corey Christian Badescu coming in for Nicholas Walker. Looks like Old Corey has played about everybody tonight. Yeah, it, it appears. So it's nice to get him in the first half. Badescu on the wing, back, back to Kimbe. Back to, to the Badescu. Luke Wallace tries his luck at a shot, won't go. Taken by, this looks like a tie-up, no. Kimbe tries his luck at a three again, won't go. A lot of action here. And out comes Schlageter, Schlageter gets fouled. He tries to go to the basket, but he's fouled. He'll try to get you this personal. That foul will go against Christian Badescu, his first personal of the ball game. St. Mary to inbound the ball. All right, we're equal on the fouls. Oh boy, nice, nice defense by Christian Badescu. Let's go through that, Al. Uh, the uh, Muscarano, Muscanero tried to inbound the ball, and Luke and the uh, Badescu tipped the ball right back on his head, so they. So they re, old Corey retains possession on that play. It was nice, nice defense by Badescu. Kimbe looking to shoot here. Minute 18 left in the quarter, in a half. Luke Wallace looking to shoot. Kimbe looking. He takes it, and he knocks it in. Kimbe, a good little ball player, came off the bench, number 14 for old Corey Warriors. Good shooter. He's got quite a few points here. How do you? He's got seven points in the second quarter alone. All that's all the points for him in the game. 26-17 in favor of the Old Quarry Warriors. St. Mary's having their hands full with the pressure and defensive pressure. Number five shoots for St. Mary Immaculate off the Superitis. Superitz misses the three. Oh, St. Mary looking for some kind of a shot. Here comes by Schlageter. Schlageter knocks it down. A nice three. It's a 26 to 20 ball game with about 30 seconds left in the half. Kimbe bringing the ball up. O'Corey looks like they're trying to get a couple starters and Coach Holman just pulled them back He's to the bench. He's gonna pull them back and wait till the second half. Christian Badescu drives. drives. Blocked. Gets his rebound and scores. Boy, it was nice defense by Ebersol, but he didn't complete the deed. And, and uh, St. Mary back on the attack after that score. You gotta get a quick shot off, three seconds left. And, uh, here it comes, and it's oh. blocked. Kimbe with a block at the end of the half. With the score, 28-20, we'll take a break, and we'll wait for the second half to start in the 44th annual Emil Domagowski tournament. Second half here. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to set the lineups here for you. You got the Castillo brothers in, Matis and Rokas in for Old Quarry. We've got uh, Patrick Gardner, and Luke Wallace. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. And about that. Gavin Kelby. That's okay. correct, Glenn. That's great. Okay, good. And then for St. Mary's, we have Elster, Kimatis, Castillo drives the baseline. He's tough. I'll tell you, that little guy, the size is not, uh, uh, not a problem for that guy. He's got great ball handling skills. So. Uh, Modest Castillo for the and one at the free throw line. 
and he, and he it. completes it. Okay, so if I was on Ebersol, Schlager, Schlager inbounds the ball to Ebersol. Ebersol tries a long pass, but it's stolen by Connor Kelby by Connor or Kel Gavin Kelby. Gavin Kelby. Nice shot by Luke Wallace. Nice shot there. He set his feet. 31 to 19 in favor of the Old Quarry Warriors. St. Mary's drives. Nice drive. Tyler Schlegeter. Tyler Schlegeter took that ball coast to coast and scored for St. Mary's. 31 to 21. Modest Castillo brings the ball up and gives it to his brother, Rokas. Rokas back to Modest. Modest to Luke Wallace. And to Gavin Kelby in the corner. He looks to shoot but doesn't like the shot. Gives it back to. Gavin Kelby in the other corner now, and he can't, doesn't like the shot. Rokas Castillo doesn't like that shot, and Gav Gavin tries the shot, won't go. And the rebound oh, is by St. Mary's Ebersole, but it goes off and out of bounds, and St. Mary's will retain possession. Oh, okay, and Drew Jensen dribble the ball off his foot, and it'll go back to St. Mary's. I mean, go back to the Old Quarry Warriors. Castillo brothers bring it up. Rokas and Matas. Gavin Calby with the ball in the corner. Doesn't like the shot. Luke Wallace looks to shoot but doesn't. Boy, this little Castillo, boy, he's going to have that shot. If they don't take that baseline away from Matas Castillo, he's going to do that all night to him. 33-21 to 21 in favor of timeout called by St. Mary's. They want to talk about this. They said probably exactly what I said there. Okay, we'll go to timeout. We'll, keep, we'll be right back with the 44th Emil Domagowski tournament. Okay, we're back in the action here. We'd like to uh, thank Apple Chevrolet. When you're looking for a new or used vehicle, or if you're just looking for a great vehicle service, visit Apple Chevrolet at 8585 West 159th Street in Tinley Park. Apple Chevrolet, Chevrolet is a proud sponsor of the St. Cyril, of St. Cyril's and the Emil tournament. Back to the action. Ebersol in the corner right now with the ball for St. Mary's. He's tied up. No, he's fouled. Looks like Luke Wallace is going to get a foul. Number 13 for uh, the Old Quarry Warriors. He can't believe it, but he did. That's his second foul, Glenn. Thank you for that, Al. St. Mary's to try to inbound the ball here. This has been trouble for them. They get it inbounds this time. Tip. It's tipped away by one of the Castillo brothers. Oh, they try. Nice try. Stole by Gardner inside from Jensen Pro tried Corey. to get it inside, and here comes Castillo with another layup, and he does. Oh. He finds a way to score. That is Mattis Castillo. Castillo finds a way to score, and it's stolen by Gavin Here's Kelby Kelby. on the inbounds pass. He's in the paint, and Modest is going to try his luck at a three now. He's inside. He's outside. He's scoring from everywhere right now. That's Mattis Castillo. Ten points for Mattis Castillo in this quarter alone. And a full court pressure again by... O'Quarry and they tie up. Gavin Kelby tries to tie up, and he does, and they make the steal. Patrick Gardner with the on ball. On the attack. Pulls up to shoot, tries to bank, it won't go. And he's going to get called for over the back on um, Patrick of number five, Superitz. Gardner's second personal of the ball game, folks. 3.03 left in this third quarter, 38 21 in favor of the O'Quarry Warriors. Full court pressure still by. The old Quarry Warriors. Nice Ebersole tries to dribble through the pressure, and he doesn't, and the ball, the ball was tipped, but the referees say it's gonna go back to the old Quarry Warriors. He's saying that Ebersole threw it out of bounds. Modest tries his luck at another three, and he won't go. Nice rebound inside by Indestad, but Indestad is fouled on the putback. Did you get the foul, Al? Tyler Schlegeter gets the personal foul. Drew Indestad. So Corey's got all their starters back in the game. Drew Indestad short on that free throw. He's got okay. the second one coming up. Coach Brian Holman, the coach of the old Corey Warriors, looks on. And oh. Coach... Tom Superitz, the coach of uh, St. Mary, watches on, trying to get this team motivated. Old Corey on the press again. 
Boy, I'll tell you, they're all over this team. Oh boy, here's a steal by Gardner. Gardner retains possession, stolen back. It's stolen back by number three, Elster. And St. Mary's will be back on the attack. This is a lot of pressure for the St. Mary's team. They can't handle it too well. They come Travel. Oh. They're going to call a jump ball here. Looked like a lot of walking over there in that corner. And uh, <laughs> the possession arrow is in favor of the old Quarry Warriors. Modest Casillo bringing the ball into his brother, Rokas. Rokas bringing the ball up the court now. Two Castillo brothers, Modest and Rokas. I think right now uh, Modest has more points than Rokas. So maybe they can even it up. A long three taken, but it won't go by Gardner. Rebounded by Schlageter. Nice rebound. They get the ball inside to, to Ebersol, but he's fouled by number 31, Drew, Drew Indestead. Indestead. How many fouls have you got, Al? I have him down for one, but I'm not. Yes, we still have him on the board as one. Oh, you get the foul to Campos? No, Campos came in for um, Patrick Gardner. Okay. So there was a sub in, old Corey subbed in, CJ Campos. There you go. Thank you, Al. Nice three attempt by... Rebound by Ben Ebersole. By Ahoyt, but it won't go. Oh, stolen. Stolen by old Corey. They're on the move, and they got uh, Rokas Castillo, and he makes the layup. Nice right hand, he kept the ball away from the defender and goes up with his right hand. Quick timeout by St. Mary. Oh, Warriors called timeout. That's kind of hard to do. It's 41-21. They called timeout, and we'll, we'll break away. We'll be back in a second. All right, we're back in the, back in the game here. Ron Matuszewski, the referee for the tonight's performance, inbounds the ball, or gives the ball to the, and another stole, steal by Modest Castillo. Goes coast to coast, tried to get it to his brother, but, but it's stolen by Ebersole, but they score. Who was that, that was that Drew Gavin Kelby? No, that was Drew Endestad. Drew Endestad scored. scored. That's his fifth point of the game now. Rokas Castillo. Castillo gets called for the foul on that that's one. His, that's his first foul for the day. Yeah, he's a tough little ball player. St. Mary's having a hard time finding shots. And there's the one. He likes at the arc, but it won't go for. For Schlageter, it won't go. Castillo, modest to uh, Rokas. Rokas up. No, it won't go. A three rebounded by Gavin Kelby. Back to Modest. Nice little Indistad. layup missed, missed by Indestad. Compost Put back by Campos. No, no good. Boy, a lot of scrum going on here. I don't know if that's all necessary. Drew Indestad got a little bit. Uh, subbing in. Looks like Kim Key. Kim K in the ball game now for the old Quarry Warriors. The uh, Rokas or Castillo brothers both went out. Yeah, and we've got uh, Walker and uh, Kim K in the ball game. Nice shot there by Schlageter. Schlageter hits a three for St. Mary's. Ends the drought for them. Less than a minute left in this third quarter. Gavin Kelby on the wing. He guarded closely by Musk. Muscanero. Oh, Corey looking at the three-point shot, not taking it. Indestad will try his luck at the wing, and it bounces up and in for him. Drew Indestad with two points from the corner. Indestad five points this quarter. Modest Casillo with 10 for with 10, uh, quick 10, boy, he's the scoring machine. St. Mary's looking for a shot here. Okay. We're going to get a foul here. Ron, ben Ebersol tries to go the hole. Do they call him travel? Yeah. 45-24 in favor of the Old Quarry Warriors right now. So Christian Badeski in for, it looks like, Gavin Kelby. 17 oh. seconds left in this oh. quarter. Old, Old Quarry, Quarry in complete the, control the right now. Yeah. They put their starters in and took over the game. First Kim Bay with a, a good little ball player. He sits the bench a lot. Oh, nice pass and a great putback right there. By C.J. Campos. C.J. Campos caught that pass in midair and put it in. 47-24 after three quarters at the 44th Emil Domagowski tournament. Okay, here we go. 
And uh, we'd like to je thank Jel Sassimo's Pizza for great tasting pizza and a great dining experience. Visit Jel Sassimo's Pizza in downtown Lamont. They're a great supporter of the Lady Comet and the uh, Emil Domagowski Tournament. St. Mary's has the ball to start the fourth quarter. Nice shot there. He set his feet on that, and Tyler Schlageter makes the three to start the uh, fourth quarter for St. Mary versus he has the Old Quarry Warriors. He has 13 of the 27 points for St. Mary Immaculate today. He's going to need a few more if this is going to get yeah. close. Okay, Kim Bay, uh, there it looks like Old Quarry looking for a good shot. Let the air out of the ball a little, a little bit here. So uh, St. Mary's is going to have to come get him. Set the floor here. Nicholas Walker drives, just misses. Yeah, can't make it. Into Stad with the rebound. Kimbe with the ball and a drive and a nice runner, and he makes it. Kimbe, a good little ball player for all the old Quarry Warriors. Now St. Mary back on the attack. Tyler Schlegeter, big scorer for them. They're having trouble bringing the ball up the court so far. Schlegeter this tries his luck at another three, won't go. Rebounded by Campos, nice rebound. Kim Bay will bring the ball up. Looks Kim like Bay and Walker, the guards now for Old Quarry. Walker tries his luck. Kim Bay looks around. Nice little runner again, and, they, and he scores again. They're going to call a quick 30 second timeout to get some players in the ball game right now for Old Quarry. A 30 second timeout. We'll be back in 30. All right, we're back. St. Mary's to inbound the ball now. Uh, uh, Old Quarry Warriors in complete control of this game. Referee Ron Matazuski to uh, give the ball to the uh, St. Mary team. And here they bring it up. Number one for them, Muscanero. Daniel They're going to have to score fast and uh, and from the three-point line to get back in this ball game. And Old Quarry is in a zone right now, a little 2-1-2 zone action. So they throw up a three, won't go. Air ball by... And Christian Badescu. Christian Badescu with the rebound there for Old Quarry. Now Nic we've got... Uh, Nicholas Walker brings the ball up over to Christian Badescu. Who drives. And the ball. They're going to call a quick foul. He goes up to shoot Badescu, but it won't. Follow He's going to shoot two. Number 10, Tyler Schlager. Tyler Schlager with third. the personal. That's, that's, his, that's his third foul. <laughs> It's four minutes left in this ball game, 51-27, and Badescu at the line makes the first free throw. Kimbe and Walker walk up to shake his hand. And uh, the other player on the floor for Old Quarry is number 22, Connor King in the ball game. So he makes both free throws. Makes both free throws, nice job. Old Quarry looks like a force in this tournament. Number 10. Looks like blocked by number 30, Nick Hawkins. Gets a, yeah, he gets his shot blocked. I think the referees can see the writing on the wall here. They're going to get this thing done. Three minutes and 51 seconds left in this ball game. And number five for St. Mary's Superitz, the coach's son, is going to inbound the ball. He gets the ball to Schlageter. He won't, and it won't go. Gets it back. That was that, that was shot missed by uh, Superitz. And Hawkins. Old Corey back on the attack. Walker for uh, Nicholas Walker brings it up, taking his time. Yo. Dribbles to the right hash mark, doesn't have anything. Connor King with the ball, and there's uh, Kim Bay dumps the ball inside to Nicholas number Hawkins. 30. Nicholas Hawkins makes the quick two, 55-27 with uh, right around three minutes left in this ball game. There's pretty much out of this one. Nice job tonight by Old Quarry. A balanced attack. They hit it from the inside. Nice rebound. Nice block out by, by Con Nicholas Hawkins. Did a nice job. He's a big kid. Yeah. Kimbe brings it up. They're taking their time here. They're letting that clock run a little bit. 55 to 27. Out there. Kimbe. They're not going to try to run this score up, which is uh, sportsmanship. Hawkins tries and makes it. Nice little touch uh, for the big man. His first two points of the ball game, Al. Am I right about four. that? He's got he just, four now? Yeah, he just last two nice, baskets. He just nice got. touch on that shot. I can see some potential there. St. Mary's on the attack again. Well, Corey trying Muscanero. to get everybody in the scorebook. 
Marcus Canera, Ahoyd on the floor. Uh, Superitz. Uten. And 21, Ahoyd on the number 10. Oh, ho. <laughs> Schlageter thought that uh, he thought that uh, Uten was there, but he behind the back to him. And he wasn't there, and the ball goes out of bounds. Now we have some wholesale substitution in the, in, for St. Mary's. Drew Jensen in the ball game. Sean Elster in the ball game. Schlageter, uh, Ebersol stays in the ball game. Superitz is still in. Muscanero, five. Muscanero is still in the ball game. And Elster, yes, you're right. Okay, old Quarry. Oh, they're going to try a three here, and it won't go. Connor King with the, and he follows his shot and he makes it. He puts a quick, quick back, put back for Connor King. He's on the point, two points for yes. Connor King. O'Quarry working the ball around the perimeter. Stolen by uh, Badescu, inserted in the ball game. How did he sneak in there? How did he get past us there, Al? St. Mary's to uh, work the ball on the perimeter. They're looking for their shot around the three point line. St. Mary's Elster. just moving the ball around. Around the perimeter, Elster. Most of their starters are out. <laughs> Muscanero tries a three, but it won't go. Muscanero and, and uh, O'Quarry will walk the ball up. Walker will walk the ball up. Ball up. See if they're going to try to run the clock out. Connor King, Badescu in the corner. He's not going to try anything. We got about 30 seconds left in this ball game. And the first game of the 44th Emil Domogowski tournament will be history with a rebound by Ben Eversall. 20 seconds left in this in this contest. 59-27 in favor of the Old Quarry Warriors. A real force in this tournament. And a nice shot by Ben Eversall. Ben Eversall. That should about put the finishing touches on it as Walker walks the ball up. And he will let the air out of this one. And this game is 59-29 in favor of the Old Quarry Warriors. A tough matchup for the uh, St. Mary, but the Old Quarry looks tough as usual. And as the as Jibberdecki puts the finishing touches on the public address, we'll fade away and get ready for the next game. It's a girls' game. The game will feature. The St. Mary Immaculate versus Old Quarry, girls. <laughs> 